We're going to Silver Dollar City. I know you came in sick. If you were free, then you come on with me. And I know what you came here to do. Now bust it up. Follow Catfish Plays 727 and Catfish Plays. Oh, this is Catfish. Sir, so are you Catfish? Are you Catfish? Plays 727? Dang, bro. That's his, that's his name with Papa, baby. Tim Boston Hooks. In a mile. Blend in the throat. Fish. Sunflower fish. Yeah, that's a good one. If there's such a thing. But, you know, without all the tragic stuff. Hey, that's a good one. It's okay that everybody... No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving. Even though my family does, leave me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom. I don't. Right, mom? The catfish plays. Oh, it's in there, buddy. Yeah. Probably because I haven't made a video yet. Sometimes I need to see it on purpose. No! That's what that is. Probably because I haven't made a video of that. Yeah, that's probably why. Why did you get them out? Mom and Daddy's not here. Hey, hey, hey. Well, we'll find it in a second, won't we, Kayla? What? Won't we find it in a second, Catfish? Sure. This is like Hollywood. Oh, there's a Titanic, guys. We found the Titanic. What's your name? I feel like your mom's Boston. not that excited about coming. She's done everything she can to take her time to get out. Okay, guys, we're in Grandpa's mansion, and literally, holy crap, it makes. This makes me sick. Mom, Mike, stick your hand in that. Look at that picture. This one makes me sick. Stick your hand in it, Maddie. Stick your hand in it. No, stick your hand in it. There's cookies. Come on. Go get the cookies. Look at that ring. Go grab the ring. Grab the ring. Grab the ring. Yeah, it's see. You see it? Grab it. It's in there. You can't get it, can you? This makes me sick. Just the picture. Excuse me. Holy crap, I can't run. Oh my gosh. Thank God I'm out of We were far from home. Sometimes hungry, often homesick, 
and always on edge, knowing that our final moments on earth might be only a heartbeat away. Yet, even when the artillery thundered down on us and the enemy's bullet be rained like deadly hailstones, we always felt connected to our families and friends back home, and we never felt alone. That's because we knew our military vehicles were made by people who deeply cared about us. They were ordinary folks who had made an extraordinary commitment to do everything they could to keep us safe, even as we rode into the belly of the beast. We put our trust in those people back home, and they poured all of their skill and devotion into every area every flange and every rivet of every vehicle that rolled off those assembly lines. Because of them, we always knew that we could count on our vehicles to be up to the task, to perform under fire just as they were designed to do. In fact, we staked our lives on it. And so, for every Rosie the Riveter or Walt the Welder on the home front, there was a grateful soldier on the front lines. The names of those vehicles were often technical. Names like M-59 Armored Personnel Carrier and M-25 Tank Transport. Others had names that were odd or downright comical. M-76 Otter, M-29 Weasel, the Gamma Goat. But in our moments of greatest need, on the cratered battlefields of the Italian front, on the deadly B International Harvester, Pontiac, Studebaker, Cadillac. Others may not be so familiar. Consolidated Diesel Electric Company, Pacific Car and Foundry, White Motor Company. Yet, their fighting machines had one thing in common. They were all made in America, infused with American pride and honor designed with one overpowering purpose in eyes, though they were most of the same color. Often form color function with the purpose of the vehicle revealed in its design. Some had tires, some had treads, and some came equipped with marine propellers. Some were amphibious, able to move troops 